In this video, we will learn about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are lines that have the same orientation. For example, this line 1 is par th this line 1 is parallel to line 2. Parallel lines such as these lines are characterized by this equation. So the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2. Therefore, we have to remember that the slopes of parallel lines are equal. Perpendicular lines are lines with orientations separated by a right or a 90 degree angle. For example, this line 1 is perpendicular to line 2 because these two lines are separated by a right angle or a 90 degree angle. Perpendicular lines are characterized by this equation. That is, the slope of uh, line two is equal to the negative is equal to negative one over or divided by the slope of line one. So we have to remember that the slope of line two, which is a perpendicular to line one, is equal to the negative reciprocal negative reciprocal of the slope of line one. Let's consider some examples. Given that the line 2, that is L2, is parallel to line 1 or L1, what is the slope of L2 or line 2 if the slope of line 1 is equal to 3? Okay, we know that parallel lines have equal slope. Therefore, the slope of line 2M2 is equal to M1 and that is equal to the given 3. Second problem, given that line 2 is perpendicular to line 1, what is the slope of line 2 if the slope of line 1 is 1 half? We know that the slope of a line perpendicular to another line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of that other line. So if we have the slope of line 1 equal to 1 half, the slope of line 2 is the negative Reciprocal, so negative 1 divided by or over the given 1 half. So we can simplify this expression uh, as negative. Reciprocal of 1 half is 2. Therefore, the slope of line 2 is negative. Third uh, example, line 1 and line 2 are parallel. If line 1 goes through the point 1, 2 and the point 4, 7, what is the slope of line 2? Okay, yes, we know that uh, parallel, parallel lines have equal slope. So first, we have to solve for the, or we have to find the slope of line 1. Since we are given two points, we can use the formula for slope. That is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 7 minus y1 is 2 over x2, that's 4, minus x1 is 1. Let's simplify this expression. 7 minus 2 is 5. 4 minus 1 is 3. Therefore, the slope of line 1, which is which should be equal to the slope of line 2, is, it, is 5 thirds. Next problem. Let's say we have line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular to each other. If line 1 goes through negative 2, negative 2, and 4, 5, what is the slope of line 2? First, we have to solve for the slope of line 1. Since we are given these two points, we can use the formula for slope. So we have y2, that's 5, minus y1, negative 2. x2, that's 4, minus x1 is negative 2. Simplify. <clears throat> Since negative times negative is positive, this is actually 5 plus 2, that's 7, and this is 4 plus 2, 6. Therefore, the slope of line 1 is 7 over 6. Now, since line 2 is perpendicular to line 1, the slope of line 2 is the negative reciprocal of the slope of line 1. Okay, so we have negative 1 over, again, the slope of line 1 is 7 over 6, so we have here, 7 over 6. Okay, that is equal to negative. Reciprocal of 7 over 6, of course, is 6 over 7. 
Next problem. Are the lines with the equations, or are the last, with the equations y is equal to 3x plus 2 and x plus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 parallel or perpendicular? Since, or uh, let's consider this uh, equation first. Since this equation is already in the slope intercept form, we can easily get the slope from that. But the second equation is not yet in the slope intercept form, so we, we have to re rewrite the second equation by isolating y on one side. So this is the original, original second equation. To isolate y on one side, we have to transpose x and negative 7 into the right side. So we have 3y on the left side, and on the right, x becomes negative x, and negative 7 becomes positive 7. To completely isolate y on the left side, we have to divide both sides of the equation by positive 3. So what's left on the on this side is y, and on the right side we have negative x divided by 3, that's negative 1 third x, plus 7 divided by 3, that's 7 third. Now this equation is already in the slope-intercept form. Based on the slope-intercept form, the slope is the coefficient of x or the number multiplied to x. So if we look at uh, the first equation, uh, the number multiplied to x is 3, therefore the slope of line 1 is 3. Based on this second equation, the slope is of line 2 is negative 1 third. So are the, are the, based on these slopes, are the two lines parallel or perpendicular? Well, they are not parallel because the slopes are not equal. But are they perpendicular? Let's see if this negative one-third is the re negative reciprocal of 3. So negative, if you multiply 3 by negative 1, so you have negative 3, then get the reciprocal, you get negative one-third. Therefore, the two lines, 1 and 2, are perpendicular. If you have any question, please leave a comment.